Lead-acid battery electric scooter or lithium-ion battery electric scooter, which is best for you? I will explain each and every detail. By end of this video, you are able to decide which electric scooter is better for you. Namaste, I am Krishna Tanya Mandela, your EV bro. Firstly, let's compare the life cycles of both these battery packs. For lead-acid batteries, the life cycles is 250 to 300 life cycles. For lithium-ion batteries, the life cycles are 800 to 1000 life cycles. After reaching these particular life cycles, the state of charge will be only 80%. So, 20% of life will be reduced after reaching to these particular life cycles. The second point, it's about the charging time. For lead-acid batteries, the charging time is 8 hours. For lithium-ion batteries, the charging time is 4 hours. The next point, it's about fast charging support. Lead-acid batteries don't support fast charging. Lithium-ion battery supports fast charging. And the next point, it's about energy density. Lead-acid batteries, energy density is 50 watt hour per kilogram. Lithium-ion batteries, 170 watt hour per kilogram. So compared with lead-acid batteries, lithium-ion batteries having three times higher energy density. If you look at the average weight of lead-acid battery pack, of 1 kilowatt hour it is 20 kilograms for 1 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack the weight is just 6 kilograms so compared with lead acid batteries lithium ion battery packs are lighter whereas lead acid batteries are heavier also lead acid batteries cannot be removed and be charged whereas lithium ion batteries are portable they can be detached and they can be charged now coming to the operating temperatures of these battery packs the charging temperature for lead acid batteries ranging from minus 20 degrees to 50 degrees centigrade whereas lithium batteries charging temperature is 0 degree centigrade to 45 degree centigrade and discharging temperature for lead acid batteries minus 20 degree centigrade to 50 degree centigrade for lithium ion batteries minus 20 degree centigrade to 60 degree centigrade and the next point is very important what is the self discharge rate for lead acid batteries and lithium ion batteries if you don't use the electric vehicle for long period for example up to one month what is the self discharge rate for lead acid batteries five percentage for lithium ion batteries four percentage and the next point it's about safety lead acid batteries are thermally stable for lithium ion battery packs bms is mandatory for thermal stability and the next point it's about fire chances for lead acid batteries Catching fire is almost negligible. In case of overcharge, lead acid batteries, the batteries may bulge, but they don't catch fire. For lithium ion batteries, in case of poor quality cells or poor quality BMS, in a thermal runaway event, there are chances the battery pack may catch fire. So the BMS is the key here. If you use a quality BMS, we can prevent fire. Now coming to the pricing of these battery packs, for lead acid battery pack, 7500 rupees per kilowatt hour for a good quality battery pack. In case of lithium ion batteries, 14000 rupees per kilowatt hour for an average battery pack. But if you need a good lithium ion battery pack, you need to pay up to 16000 rupees to 18000 rupees. Always remember the cost of these battery packs lies on the quality. If you need better quality, you need to pay higher amount. Overall, lead acid battery packs are cheaper compared with lithium ion battery packs. Now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of lead acid batteries and lithium ion batteries. Advantages of lead acid batteries, safer, cheaper and easy to recycle. And the disadvantages, charging time is high and you cannot travel for longer distance. And now coming to the advantages of lithium ion batteries, you can travel for long distance fast charging is possible and battery packs are portable now coming to the disadvantages of lithium ion batteries recycling is very difficult only one percent of lithium ion battery packs are recycling in india and another thing we don't know the quality of the lithium ion battery pack unless until we used for at least 1.5 years of time so in case if the poor quality cells or poor quality bm has been used there are chances of fire incidents also battery pack cost is high for lithium ion batteries after the lifetime you need to spend up to 50000 rupees now who can choose lead acid batteries if your daily commute is 5 to 10 kilometer radius then lead acid battery scooters are best suitable for you because you hardly need to charge these vehicles for 
one or two times a week so eight times a month you will get a lifespan of up to two to three years depending on your life cycles but a point to be noted here you need to do complete charge and complete discharge for a better lifetime for lead acid batteries even after your lifetime the replacement cost of lead acid batteries are just 12,000 rupees to 15,000 rupees and another advantage of lead acid batteries they don't catch fire instead the battery packs get bulge in case of overcharging now who can choose lithium ion battery packs if your daily commute is 30 kilometers to 80 kilometers and if you require fast charging and if you need a portable battery pack definitely lithium ion battery pack electric scooters are suitable for you even if you charge your vehicle one time per two days then you you can easily get five years of lifespan in case if you charge your vehicle daily you will get three years of lifespan so that's a complete comparison between lead acid battery pack electric scooter and lithium ion battery pack electric scooter currently brands like Ureva, Tunwal, Komaki, Venu Motors are offering lead acid battery pack electric scooters companies like Ampere, Bigos, Ola, Aether, TVS offering lithium ion battery pack electric scooters now you can choose which electric scooter is best suitable for you but always remember before buying an electric scooter watch customer reviews go for a test ride enquire about the service only then proceed buying any electric vehicle if you like this video please like share and subscribe to ev bro charge the nature drive the future